remembering an Iron Range legend, Iron Range legend rather, Bill Hanna was the longtime executive director of the Mesabi Daily News and had been with the paper more than 30 years. Hanna passed away Monday at the age of 70. KBJR 6's Leanne Valdez spoke to people who knew Hanna about the legacy he leaves behind. In journalism, there are two sides to every story. And those who knew the late Bill Hanna would say the same about him. The one everybody saw uh, first and foremost was his journalistic side. Regional president and publisher of APG Media, Chris Knight, has known Hanna for 25 years. Bill and I worked out a pretty good working relationship, and then I became his publisher. Knight says Hanna was a well-respected journalist across Minnesota. It wasn't uncommon to walk by Bill's office when he was at the Misabi Daily News and um, Amy Klobuchar would be in there, or maybe Mark Dayton. Virginia Mayor Larry Coffey Jr. can attest to Hannah's grit. Phil Hanna was a bulldog. I mean, when he got his teeth into a story, he never let go. Mayor Coffey Jr. says he was an old school reporter and a force to be reckoned with. He was tenacious, I mean, but he was fair. Hannah also had a soft side, says Knight. Had a, had a big family. He was originally from Northeast Minneapolis and really proud of being from there. Hannah, a busy journalist, always made time for what was important in life, says Knight. Very close to his family. They got together off and he traveled to Minneapolis to, to spend a lot of time with him. Knight shares Hannah was a huge Twins baseball fan and he caught a Joe Maurer home run ball at one of their home games. He also ended up giving the ball that he caught to uh, a young a young child that was sitting in front of him. So kind of kind of speaks to Bill's big heart too. A tough journalist with a kind heart someone Knight calls irreplaceable. You can't fill his shoes, you, you just have to go about it in another way. And according to the Misabi Tribune, funeral arrangements are pending with a funeral home in Minneapolis.